For many young students, the idea of segregation is tough to imagine. But just 40 years ago, Salem County was divided, still segregated, even after the Civil Rights Act was signed. As part of Black History Month, some students in that rural county got a chance to view a locally produced film that portrays what life was like for the black community back then. Kent St. John has the story. The documentary is entitled The African American Experience in Salem County. One of its goals is to document segments of the county's African American struggles through an oral history. James Pope was educated in Woodstown's segregated school system. He recalled the bigotry as part of everyday life for children even after the passage of the 1964 Civil Rights Act. But even here in Jersey, you know, people talking about how dangerous it was to live down south, it wasn't any different here. You know, they, there was a fear factor. There was a fear factor that you, you could be physically hurt if you didn't toe the line. And the project was funded by a grant from the New Jersey Council of the Humanities. Producers say getting it done was no easy task. When we first started out, we had no interview subjects. We had this idea that we wanted to go around and we just assumed that people would want to talk to us about their memories. But as you can see from the film and in talking with the people we have here today, it's not, you know, it's not the easiest thing to talk about. I can remember my father years ago uh, saying that at one time you didn't really go into town. You didn't cross that lake, that bridge over the lake after a certain time in the evening. You just didn't. And um, it was a kind of thing where you knew your place. Another goal of the film is to bridge the gap between older and younger generations. After viewing the film, the students shared their thoughts. I didn't realize that there was like so much seg segregation and that there was a lot of history that was in Woodstown. Mm -hmm. And I just, I thought it was very interesting and I learned a lot. I didn't really think that so much went on in Woodstown and that it was just, oh, it happened somewhere else, but it was actually right here in my backyard. I gave it a kind of negative, but I never thought that Woodstown would be that way since it's a nice town and people come here to live, my elder. I thought it was really interesting to find out like that there was actually like segregation and stuff like in our town, like Sam County. I like seeing like the pictures of like our high school was like seeing that. Another of the documentary's goals was to convey the gravity of the situation for those segments of the population that were made to feel inferior to their white counterparts. You never let anything keep you behind and you make the best of every situation there is. You don't get bitter but you make the best of every situation there is. The documentary has been distributed to all schools in the district. Kent St. John and JN News, Woodstown, Salem County. That's NJ 